We've had some fantastic new tenor saxophone mouthpieces come out in the last year, and in this video, I'm gonna take a look at four of my favorites. If you're considering getting a new tenor sax mouthpiece, this video should help you out with some ideas of where to start looking. Jay Metcalf here from bettersax.com. I'm gonna be reviewing these in order of price, and the first one up is the Better Sax Burnin' for tenor saxophone. It came out in April of 2022 and is already extremely popular. Let me play it for you and then we'll get into why people are digging this mouthpiece so much. <laughs> Now I do realize that since this is my own personal brand, you probably think I'm a bit biased. It's true, so instead of giving you my thoughts, I'm just going to read a quote from you from the king of saxophone mouthpiece reviews, Steve Neff. The Better Sax Vernon tenor saxophone mouthpiece was a lot of fun to play. I am not sure if I have played a tenor sax mouthpiece before that had such a huge tonal variation accessible between dark and bright. When playing at a soft volume, the Vernon tenor sax mouthpiece had one of the darkest, warmest, and most lush tenor saxophone tones I have experienced. It was really sultry, buttery and sexy sounding, and the subtones were just so smooth and lush. I loved playing at these softer volumes because of this beautiful warmth of tone the Burnin Tenor Sax mouthpiece produced. <laughs> At a medium volume, the Burnin tenor sax mouthpiece seemed to become more focused and a bit brighter. It seemed to get more focused and concentrated in tone when pushed louder in comparison to most of the Autolink tenor mouthpieces I have played. <laughs> At full volume, the Burnin tenor sax mouthpiece becomes even brighter and more focused. It can handle brighter rock and R&B type lines and altissimo and can really be quite powerful when pushed to the max. This variation from soft, dark and warm to an in your face, bright and more focused tone with edge is really quite interesting and makes the Burnin tenor sax mouthpiece quite versatile in my opinion. I couldn't have said it better myself. Besides being a sort of one mouthpiece for all situations, the extremely reasonable price point is also very popular. The Better Sax Burnin mouthpiece for tenor sells for around $279 at the time of this video. Yes, we could charge a lot more for this mouthpiece, but we want it to be accessible to as many players as possible. Check the link in the description for up-to-date prices and more info. Another new mouthpiece on the scene is the Boston Sax Shop E-Series. It has a similar design concept to the Better Sax Vernon in that it has a longer rollover baffle going into a larger chamber. The idea being to get a dynamic mixture of power, edge, and warmth all in one mouthpiece that can be used in a variety of situations. Let's have a listen to hear what it sounds like. I like playing on this mouthpiece, but you may have heard that it doesn't have the same level of power or projection for me as the Burnin does. I consider this to be more of a strictly jazz mouthpiece. It reminds me of a really good auto link piece where you've got all of this beautiful subtone and fatness, but also a nice sizzly edge to the sound. Looking closely, you can see that it does have very thin rails, but a slightly thicker tip. 
The sidewalls of the E-Series are rounded, while the Burnin has straight sidewalls, and the baffle is not quite as pronounced as it is on the Burnin. <laughs> So while you could play this mouthpiece on any type of gig, of course, for me, I wouldn't take it on any sort of gig where I have to compete with a loud electric guitar or drums, for example. For me, I would use this mouthpiece on straight ahead jazz gigs. Like the Boston Sack Shop E Series mouthpiece really shines in the soft and medium volumes. It sells for $499, which is on the upper end of the spectrum for a professional hard rubber tenor sax mouthpiece. However, there is a discount for better sax subscribers like you. Use the coupon code Better Sax if you want to pick up one of these mouthpieces at checkout and you'll save 10%. Link is in the description. <laughs> Now I've got a couple metal tenor sax mouthpieces for you. The first one is the Lakshmi by Theo Wane. This is Theo's latest creation. Let's hear what it sounds like. I have just about every Theo Wane mouthpiece in my collection. I like them all, but I have to say that this one is my personal favorite, hands down. The Lakshmi is similar in design concept to both the Better Sax Burnin and the Boston Sax Shop E Series in that it has a larger chamber for more warmth, as well as a moderate baffle to give it power and projection. On their website, they refer to these as the elongated rollover baffle and the large stadium chamber. The Lakshmi also has rounded sidewalls. Now you may have noticed in that first clip that there's a lot of power and projection and brightness in the sound, but it can also play softly with warmth and a lot of control. <laughs> It comes with their integrated ligature, which is great. At the moment, it is only available in the metal gold-plated variety, but I expect they will probably release a hard rubber version soon. The Lakshmi sells for $775 at the time of the recording of this video, but check the link in the description for up-to-date pricing. And saving the most expensive for last, let's check out the Jody Jazz hand-hammered rose gold-plated limited edition tenor sax mouthpiece. When Jody first showed me this mouthpiece last year, 
I didn't really know what to think. It just seemed like a gimmick, right? Why make such a heavy and big mouthpiece? Isn't it just the inside that really matters? He was so passionate about the new concept though. And then I got this beauty and now I understand what he was so excited about. <laughs> In all honesty, this is the most interesting and unique mouthpiece I have ever played. Notice how I don't say best because the best mouthpiece for any given player is going to be very subjective, of course. However, when you play this mouthpiece, along with the really beautiful sound it produces, there is this whole physical sensation that I've never experienced before. There is a deep resonance that I can feel in my entire body and the vibrations create this enveloping warmth that seems to surround me. On the inside, we are consistent in concept to the other mouthpieces. To my eye, it is very similar to the Burnin in terms of baffle, chamber, and sidewalls, although the baffle is not quite as pronounced as it is on the Burnin, so I don't get the same range of power and projection with the hand hammered. The exterior of the piece is beautifully hand hammered like a cymbal is, and that work is done by an actual cymbal craftsman. The rose gold plating and engraving is really exquisite. It's a very beautiful looking mouthpiece. On the saxophone, it is heavy. You're gonna wanna have a nice snug fit with your neck tenon. The hand hammered rose gold mouthpiece is a limited edition to 300 numbered pieces. Mine doesn't have a number, I think because it is labeled artist instead. It sells for $999 at the time of this video. And if you wanna get the matching rose gold plated hand hammered power ring ligature that comes with a custom leather cap and pouch, which I do recommend, you're gonna to have to fork over another $250. Certainly not the mouthpiece for everyone, but 300 people are really gonna cherish this thing, I'm sure. Check the link in the description for more info. As always, the best way to find a new mouthpiece that you like is to try stuff out. I recommend spending several hours on a new mouthpiece spread out over a few days and make sure you are trying it with a variety of reed cuts and strengths. It's entirely normal for a new mouthpiece to feel weird to you when you first play on it. That's because you're used to playing something else. The reed you use on your current mouthpiece might not be at all a good fit for the new mouthpiece you're trying out. So make sure you put in the proper amount of time testing something before making up your mind. Two of the mouthpieces in this video started out with a poor impression for me just because the reed I was using wasn't a good fit. If you're unsure about any of the terminology in the world of mouthpieces like chamber, baffle, sidewalls, you're gonna wanna watch this video next where I walk you through the anatomy of saxophone mouthpieces and exactly how every part affects the sound. You're gonna be an expert on the topic after watching it.